Primalucha Lab has right before the Neve introduced the ghost mode to the Eagle. And that's a way how you can connect other devices like a focuser, a rotator and so on to the Eagle without cables. Now Filippo couldn't resist and has introduced it with a video with ghosts. Have a short look. Now let me be very clear, I'm outraged. This was absolutely immature and unprofessional. And I'm sure you're as outraged as I am. And that's why I want to promise you here that in this video, there will be no references to ghosts and absolutely most definitely no cheap animations of ghosts. This is serious business. So let's get going. <laughs> Hey, this is Fee Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so great to meet you and thanks for watching my channel. So the ghost mode, as already said, is a way to connect devices wirelessly to the Eagle. So there's a few requirements for that. First of all, yes, you guessed it, you need an Eagle. And if you don't know what an Eagle is, that here is an Eagle. An Eagle is, in principle, a mini PC, like, for, like, for example, a Mealy Quieter, just a million times cooler. And it's made really for astrophotography. So it has GPS, it has Wi-Fi, you can even check the sky quality with it. It does the whole energy management for you, and it has tons of USB ports to connect other devices. And one of the big advantages of an Eagle is that you need less cables because everything runs internally through it. And so what the ghost mode really is, it's bringing this philosophy of as few cables as possible one step further. Yes, you will still have to connect your devices somehow because they need energy and as long as they don't have batteries in it, you have to connect them, but you don't need two cables anymore. One cable will fall away, the USB cable, and all that's left is the energy cable. So now, unfortunately, but also obviously, this only works with Primalucha Lab devices. And that's no ill intent, but that's simply the fact that other brands do not have these capabilities that are needed. For example, an EAF has no Wi-Fi connection. So at the present time, the ghost mode works with the Sesto Sensor 2, with the Esato Focuser, with the Arco Rotator and with the automatic flat panel, which is in principle the Giotto and the Alto. So if you have an Eagle and one of these devices, you can activate the ghost mode right now. What you first have to do is you have to update the firmware, the drivers, just like everything which is connected to these devices, plus obviously the Eagle Manager to the newest version. And you find all these drivers on the Primalucha Lab homepage on the downloads. So let's connect now to the Eagle over my computer and I will show you how it looks like on the Eagle. Okay, welcome to this short video about how to activate ghost mode on the Eagle. It looks very easy, but again, there's a little bit of twist. So you see now here on the bottom left, the ghost mode. And now it tells you that set your Eagle Wi-Fi card to 2.4 gigahertz, click here to know more and your instinct is yeah, yeah, that, that will be okay. And then it tells you to connect all your PLL devices to your Eagle with USB cables. That's crucial. So we still need it with the USB cables connected. But let's go back to the number one, because as always with Windows. I think I will get a beating again for stating that, but anyway, <laughs> there is some administrative stuff to do. That's just how it is. So we click here because, as I always say, 
with Primalucha Lab, we have wonderful manuals. I really have to make a big compliment to them. The manuals are so extensive, they're so easy to follow, even it's in principle complex stuff. So what they say is that you have to activate the control panel and then we go here on device manager. On device manager, we go on network adapters and there you see now here the Intel Wi-Fi 6AX201 160 MHz. You double click that, you go on advanced and now we have to follow them very carefully what they say. So set 201.11abg to 2.4 GHz 108.11bg. That's already happened here, fine. Then for the next one, for the ACAX, we have to go on disabled. Then for prefer band, that's down here, we say prefer 2.4 gigahertz band. Then it says select the driver. So now you have to check if you have the right driver, which is 2330. So I have the right version now, but to be clear, when I started this when i looked at this now i had an outdated driver so you have to download it here and install it once the new driver is installed you can go on with this stuff here you can click ok and then this is done and you have to reboot windows and then finally we can go on and click ok now you see that here the sesto sensor is actually appearing so i double click it it says press apply button to activate ghost mode for the SESTA sensor. I say apply. Okay, and now we have actually the SESTA sensor connected. You see it's green now and it gives me a COM port. And that's now crucial because before with play you got another COM port and now it's this one. So what you can do now, and I will go now and unplug the USB cable. So I have this now unplugged. Everything stays green. Now I go in Nina. Okay, in Nina we go to Focuser. Take now again the PLL ASCOM Focuser. I go here on Settings. And now it's crucial that we go here on COM40 Ghost Mode. Say so Select and we activate it. So you see, success, it's activated. And let's see, when I click, I hear it focusing. So perfect, I can confirm that the Ghost Mode actually is working and one cable is less on my eagle so i hope that was interesting and if you have any questions about it please leave it in the comments below see you next time and clear skies